Hello, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler, and today we're going to talk about simplifying radicals. Now, a radical is really just like a square root. It looks like these three right here. And this is a question that you would really find on the non-calculator part of the GED math section, um, one of those first five to seven questions. So I'm going to go through a couple of examples and explain how you can simplify radicals and determine the value of these types of problems. So let's start with the first one. It says determine the value of the square root of 9 over 49. What I like to do is break this up into two different parts. Because really, the square root of that fraction is really the square root of the top number divided by the square root of the bottom number. So I can rewrite it as this. And then I can just take it one piece at a time. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 49 is 7. So there you go. The value of the square root of 9 over 49 is 3 over 7. So let's try then the middle one. It says determine the value of the square root of 100 divided by 4. Now with this one, there's something that I noticed right away is that I can actually take and divide 100 divided by 4. 100 divided by 4 is 25. So really this question is asking me what's the square root of 25. So I'm going to write that. Well, I know the square root of 25 is 5. So there's my answer. This just shows that there's a different approach you can take to these types of problems. So let's look at the last one. Determine the value of the square root of 50 over 9. Well, this one, I know that 50 isn't what's called a perfect square. It's not like 9 or 49 or anything like that. So if I take the square root of it, I'm going to get some weird decimal. So I don't want to do that. What I do also know, though, is that 50 is the same thing as 25 times 2. And one of those numbers is a perfect square. So I'm going to kind of break it apart a little bit and write it as this. 25 times 2 over the square root of 9. All I'm doing is representing 50 in a different way. The reason that, that I can do that and why it helps is because now I can split these two, 25 and 2, into separate square roots. Square root 25 times square root 2 over square root 9. Now what happens is, now I, I know the square root of 25 is 5, I just found it in my last problem, and the square root of 2 is just, again, it's some weird decimal, it's like 1.41 something something. Um, so I can leave that as it is, and then the square root of 9 we found earlier was 3. So let's go ahead and write all that out. 5 square root 2 over 3. This is actually an okay way to leave your answer. The square root of 2, we can't simplify at all, so we just leave it as it is. So I hope this helps in those first few questions when you get to the math section um, if you're asked to find the value of a radical. Your education will add up when you visit us at GEDES.com. For future tips and videos, be sure to subscribe and follow.